Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends, and blessed Tuesday. So today I'd like us to look at Psalm 140 in our reading, verse 4, and it says this, Protect me, Lord, from the power of the wicked. Keep me safe from violent people who plot my downfall. And so every day, we pray together in our devotionals at the end for daily protection. And there's a reason why we do that. When disciples requested Jesus teach them to pray, Jesus prayed in the Lord's Prayer, deliver us from evil. And of course, yesterday with the killing of in the children, actually three kids, three adults, as I understand it, um, in the Nashville Christian grade school, um, when I first heard that yesterday, my heart went out first to, of course, the children, the families that were affected, um, even the family of the young woman that was the perpetrator. But the next thing that I thought was, this is spiritual warfare. We, we need to be reminded that, um, that we are in a war. God is on the move. The Holy Spirit of God is moving and doing amazing things. We are experiencing that um, in our country. We're experiencing that at South Lake. I mean, in the midst of the evil, there's great grace in life. However, we need to understand that the enemy uh, will counterattack, and that's what we saw, I believe, yesterday. And that's uh, what he is known to do throughout the ages. So Satan coming against what God is doing is what he will always do. And so where do we stand? Well, we stand in prayer to deliver us from evil as we go about our daily lives. And then we appropriate the victory that we have in Jesus through his cross and resurrection. And we stand, as Ephesians 6 says, in the midst of spiritual war, we stand in faith and in truth, and especially we stand in prayer. So today I'd like us in just for... A few seconds here to pray for um, what happened yesterday, but pray for ourselves again as we always do and our families, our church family. In fact, Lord, right now we do that. We commit our day, our way to you, and we thank you, Lord, this day. We don't ever take it casually, but that you would provide for, that you would direct, but that you would also protect us, our families, our church family. We ask for that, Lord Jesus, and thank you for that. And then, Lord, we also want to pray Again, for our nation, and we ask, Lord, for those people in Nashville, the families, that you would bring comfort, that you would bring care to each one of them. But the Lord, we just want to stand in your victory through the cross for our nation and continue to pray that your renewal and your awakening would go forward in power and purpose and in eternal life. So thank you for what you're going to do in our lives this day. Lord, we're um, praying for your grace and your victory to be realized in us. And Lord, thank you for what you'll do in continuing to pour out your spirit in our land. So we pray together in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. Well, God bless you. Have a great day today. I'll be praying for you, and I look forward to talking to you again in the morning. God bless.